Hey Queens, you're here with PK. This is my first YouTube video tutorial. I'm here to teach you today how to do knotless braids. So first we're gonna start with the foundation, the base, which is the cornrows, and then we're gonna work off those sections one at a time. Now that we have our sections, we're gonna work off one simultaneously. This is a type of hair that I really enjoy using. It's called Preacher's Braid 101. Sis, I'm gonna tell you why I like using this type of hair. First of all, can we just take a moment to see that this pack of hair only costs $2.49, okay? The other reason I really enjoy using this hair is because it's tangle free. You can't really see because of the camera. I'm gonna bring the hair a little closer to the camera. This hair is really soft. Do you see how my fingers glide through the hair? That's what you want because it's really gonna help your process go a lot faster. This is the amount of hair that you want, about this much hair, each braid. I like my hair to look a little bit more natural. This is also the color hair that my hair is. This is number two. Hello, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm working off my first cornrow, also I call my first section. So you wanna take your time unraveling each cornrow because remember your ends are the most delicate part of your hair. You wanna be kind to those. So I'm taking my section out very slowly, very carefully. You wanna take your first section about the size of a dime. I make sure that I keep my ends very moisturized as my hair is in this protective style. So I take um, a little bit of deep conditioner. You can't really see the amount of lotion that I placed on my fingers, but it's about the size of a dime. I moisturize each section before I apply my hair. The amount of hair you want, again, is about an inch in width. You take that section of hair and you split it in half and you add the loop onto half of that section. I'm gonna show you again. Split that section into half, place your hair that you have, the ear extension, over the loop. Keep your index finger tight. Grab your second piece of hair and now you begin to make a braid, just as you would any regular braid without an, a piece of extension. You just work your way down the shaft. Make sure you keep the hair very tight because ordinarily you'd be placing a loop of hair over the entire section, but because you're not doing that, you have to be very mindful to keep your braid very tight. You also want to keep in mind that you wanna use as much braiding hair as possible because unfortunately, when you do a knotless braid, it does create lots of knots. So each time you're working your way down the braid, you want to split each section in half so that the braid is very neat. So I'm working my way down. Each section of the hair, of the three pieces that I have in my finger, I'm splitting in half and working my way down the braid. I'm keeping in mind that it has to be very tight so that it doesn't unravel and so that it looks very neat. Now ladies, this hair is about 27 inches. So if you want to achieve this look, you wanna get yourself 27 inch of 101 Freetress braiding hair. And I'm just working my way down. Now, ordinarily, some individuals like to create a knot at the end of the braid, dip that braid in hot water to seal the ends. And so I'm going to show you how to achieve that look if that is a desired look that you would like to have. So you take that hair and you're gonna loop it into kind of like a slip knot. That's when you would then dip your hair into the hot water. Now for the Achieve look that I'm gonna show you today, I like to just use rubber bands. I don't have to worry about the knot coming out. If I didn't put enough hot water in the hair to seal it, a rubber band, ladies and gentlemen, will achieve the look just the same, and it's a lot, it's simpler. That took a total of four and a half hours. I will never do that again. But for the purposes of today's video, I did not list braids. I always do twists because they are way faster, only takes me three hours, but I digress. Lastly, you're gonna to wanna to use mousse. I hardly ever use mousse because, I don't know, I really don't care for it to be, my hair to look 100% perfect, but a lot of people like to use mousse. I put about this amount in my hand. And 
get the top parts of your braids like so. Now, this particular mousse, I noticed today it's for women who wear relaxed hair, which is myself. I'll talk about that in another video, why I chose to relax my hair and how I retain length. Um, lastly, what you're going to do, um, you're going to get um, hot water and you dip your ends. Again, I don't do that because this hair, I like the soft texture that it has but if that's something you want to do that's something you're more than welcome to do um stay tuned for my next video we'll be talking about how to um regain edges once they're lost that's something i had to suffer from and stay tuned for my next video thank you queens love ya